In this video, we will briefly gaze deep into the eyes of on-screen canon, for the fun of it. When Star Trek arrived in the 1960s, Gene Roddenberry and company shrewdly chose to use star dates instead of the more recognizable proper dates. The five-year mission took place in some undefined future, and that was enough. Although by the time of the feature films, Star Trek was understood to take place in the 23rd century. It was not really until the Next Generation era that a proper chronology of recognizable dates was established. In the episode The Neutral Zone, we learnt that the end of TNG's Season 1 was set in the year 2364. TNG was generally believed to be set 100 years after the original series. So in theory, Kirk's five-year mission would have had to have occurred at some time in the 2260s. In Tomorrow is Yesterday, when Colonel Fellini threatens to lock Kirk up for 200 years, Kirk supposes this to be about right. The episode is not explicit in its 20th century date, but it would be fun to think that a line concerning an imminent moon landing next Wednesday suggests it is 1969. The episode, of course, was broadcast in 1967, before Apollo 11's historic landing. 200 years would place Kirk's five-year mission in the 2160s, not the 2260s. But perhaps Kirk was being flippant. Or perhaps the writers had not settled on a century. In the motion picture, Kirk mentions having spent two and a half years at Starfleet operations. Was this two and a half years after Turnabout Intruder? Or was there a second five-year mission? Can we suppose the animated series constitutes a part of this second five-year mission? When Kirk and Capri returned in 1979, they looked ten years older after all. The motion picture established that Voyager 6 was launched more than 300 years ago. As part of the Voyager series of space probes, Voyager 6 must have come after Voyagers 1 and 2, which were launched in September and August of 1977 respectively. If we imagine NASA launching two Voyagers a year, then Voyager 6 would have been launched in 1979. It should be noted that the Star Trek Encyclopedia claimed Voyager 6 was launched in the late 1990s. Decker explicitly states, more than 300 years ago, not simply 300 years ago. If the conventional chronology is correct, then the motion picture was set in 2271. But this is not more than 300 years after 1979. It is comfortably under 300 years. Was Decker historically illiterate? Did he not know maths? Or was the motion picture, as originally written, set in the 2280s or the 2290s? 